All right, here's a Rise of the Eldrazi draft. Um, this is the first pick. Uh, we have Eldrazi Conscription, obviously. And Domestication is a really good card, but Eldrazi Conscription is a card where you just come out of nowhere and win the game. Obviously this card is played in the Pro Tour extensively in the uh, Mythic Conscription deck. So gen generally cards that are good enough for Constructed are first pick material and limited, although not often, not always. Um, Nest Invader is a definitely a first pickable card, as is Fork Bolt, but not with Domestication and Eldrazi Conscription in the pack. When I take the Eldrazi Conscription, the person to my left is probably going to take the Domestication, so that's something to keep in mind. Also, now that this is my first pick, I definitely want to be considering cards that ramp, um, because if I can get this out early, then that's going to be just backbreaking. For example, Undo Giant. Um, and, you know, Narcolepsy is in this pack, too. It's I think Narcolepsy is sort of, without question, the best card in this pack. But, you know, I just packed past a uh, Domestication, so it's likely that the person to my left is interested in this Narcolepsy. And if I can sort of push them towards blue... I might be able to carve out a space for myself in like green ramp into my conscription. And with conscription I would also have a tendency to move into white because I can pick up a totem guide heart of beast. And essentially any totem guide heart of beast I pick up now is like another rare because I'll definitely get my Eldrazi conscription. So I would also consider taking a merge unscathed here. I think Andu Giant's the safer pick. It cuts green there also. Well, sadly at this point, maybe I should have just taken blue, because blue looks like it's pretty good, although somebody could be thinking the same thing I'm thinking. These might have just been all the blue cards in this pack, and people took cherry pick the other colors. I mean, I guess... I can continue to release blue to my left. It, we are only two picks deep. The problem is, even if I take like the Frostman Invoker, which of these three is probably the one I would take, I'm not necessarily going to be able to cut blue at all. I might be better off, I know it's crazy, but I might be better off just taking the Daggerback Basilisk, or even the Afa Guardhound. I think since I'm already green, I know this card's not that great, but it's... It can stall the board. It helps me get to my Eldrazi Conscription. And I'm pretty glad that I stuck with green. Um, Bramble Snap is a very solid card. Um, given that I'm probably going to try to ramp, I could move into black. And Skeletal Worm could be like Eldrazi in disguise. But on sort of the scale of the eight cost creatures in the set, this is among the worst. Um... Wildheart Invoker is, I think, the pick here. It's a fantastic card. It, The Trample... I'm, I've said this in a previous video. Trample is a really good ability. I, I don't think there's ever been a set where Trample isn't one of the best keywords. And, you know, it's vanilla and evergreen, so... Um, it's one of green's strongest weapons. Wow. Okay, so speaking of Totem Guide Heart of Beast... That is a bold pick to take this over like a Frostman Invoker or a Jotty Life Strider. But white can be good, even though it's probably the worst color. Because it's the worst color, people don't take it, and so it, it balances it out. This is why Magic is awesome, because the metagame has a tendency to do that. Um, if you sort of find a backdoor strategy it's really powerful until everybody realizes it's powerful and then it's no longer a backdoor strategy. And then the metagame is shifted and something else takes its place as the new backdoor strategy. So I think it's the Jihadi Life Strider or the Totem Guide Heart of Beast. I think I'm going to take the Life Strider just to stay in green. Th that was a close pick. Also, 
Totem Guide Artemis is a common, and I'll probably be able to get another one if I want to. Alright, well, Regress is really good against me, but again, blue. Of all these cards, Null Champion is probably the best single card. Dream Sun Hedron can be, can be good, though. And Might of the Masses may not be so great in my deck, but if I pick up some Predators and uh, Nest Invaders, it could be better. I really like this card. But I really think the pick, because I, like I said, I have sort of a, a white thought going on here, is, is the Hedron or the Smite. I think I'm going to go with the Hedron, even though I don't have any removal yet. I'm still not committed to white yet. Well, and here we have Hyena Umbra and Coraline Slinger, which I would consider taking. I think it's funny that in this draft, I'm like already sort of white, even without having taken one single white card. But I've got my eye on you, white. I also have my eye on black. I think these are the two colors I have my eye on right now. Because I've been seeing a lot of these cards coming through. And in this pack, Arrogant Bloodlord is, is a very decent card. I like it better than Escape Null, although Escape Null with Eldrazi Conscription is just a beating. I think I'm going to go with the Escape Null, because it also is a good blocker. Okay, well at this point, it's Continuing Black with a Bloodright Invoker, or move into White with Smite. I think Smite is better than most people give it credit for. Well, this is a bunch of nothing. So it's like Shrivel for the sideboard, or a Battle Rampart in case I end up going into green, red, and picking up like a Crusher or two. But with a Hedron and a Conscription, a Crusher, only going to want one of those. Or I pick up a Lone Missionary, which is also sort of a sideboard card if I'm in white, but not that great of one of a deck like this. I think I'll take the Shrivel, just because that could end up being a good sideboard card. And here... Wow. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I like Souls Attendant in this, this format quite a bit. Cadaver Imp is, is a classic though, and if you get a couple of these you can recurse them. Um, and in green, I already have like a Wild Heart Invoker that would be nice to get back. Even a Daggerback Basilisk can be pretty annoying to get back. Okay, well, I could take a Zoff Shade in the hopes of continuing with Ramp, but I haven't really gotten that much Ramp. The Deprive still being in here means like there's a lot of blue open. I can also take the Eland Umbra, which is playable. I think I'm just going to take the Deprive for, like, hate, if nothing else. Probably hide that. Bulwark is probably the most playable of those cards. Repel the Darkness I could play if, if I need another white card. Alright, there's pack one.